What's going on, fellas? Back again. Nothing really special today. No reviews or anything. I know it's been a few weeks since I've done a, an upload, so I just wanted to jump on camera and holler at y'all, give you a little update about some things I got going on. Nothing big, nothing out of the ordinary. Um, same old, you know, reviews and different couple beard updates. But, yeah, um... I just want to talk about uh, a couple different things. Uh, a couple of some YouTubers that we know and love. Uh, B the Barber, a.k.a. D. Hyde, initiated a challenge, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, maybe close to a month ago. I messed with him and said I wasn't going to participate, but I did participate in that challenge. I'll talk about that. And also the Bearded Existence um, Year Challenge. I'm also... Um, going to participate in that but not how you think and his year challenge is not uh your traditional year where you grow your beard and don't do anything to it and kind of just let it all hang out so to say so to speak i should say um so yeah a couple weeks ago i got a trim a beard was getting a little crazy on the uh on the bottom part that's usually the part that gets a little crazy and um, I found some uh, single strand knots, which was the first time I've had any damage in my beard that I have seen, um, have noticed, uh, you know, um, I guess it was a, I think I saw a hair on my shirt or something like that. I pulled it off and I had a single strand knot and, you know, I, I have a hard time really looking in to try to see if I have any damage or anything like that. So I may have damaged the whole time and didn't even know. So I just gone, got, a, got a slight trim. I think it makes the beard look better anyway. It's uh, nice and full, and uh, I don't think I'm going to have one of those massive beards anyway. It just doesn't look right when it gets longer. So I got a slight trim. I like it, you know, and I'll probably stick with this length because it just it just looks good in my opinion. So um, so to the D. Hyde, a.k.a. B. the Barber Challenge, uh, he initiated a challenge where, you know, he was asking – um, everybody to just use oil for the, uh, however long, I don't remember how long he said, but just use oil. Like some people use oil and balm. Some people just use balm, but uh, I'm pretty sure with his routine, he uses oil throughout the course of the week until it's time for him to go out or something. And he needs, uh, some balm or something for a hold. Um, two things I've noticed with that. Um, one was, uh, my beard was easier to wash it was cleaner uh i don't want to say cleaner but it wasn't as much yeah i guess because it wasn't any gunk with the balm i use balm every day because i do like the way it softens my beard um not necessarily for the hold because i really don't notice any difference in flyaways catching flyaways in the hold but it does make my beard softer than oil um, i think i mentioned that in a video way back so i use balm every day so I did notice that when it was time to wash my beard, that my beard was, um, it was easier to clean because it wasn't, you know, with, uh, with balm and, uh, butters, there's the, you know, shea butter and beeswax and cocoa butter, whatever people are putting into their balms and oils. Um, and you know, so it gets a little gunky and I didn't really have to, I usually have to wash my beard twice, like two passes. And I didn't have to do that. I only had to pass it, use uh, one pass to get my beard feeling clean. But I also noticed, like I said, my beard was, it 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 wasn't as soft. It was still soft, but it wasn't as soft. If I never used balm to, to get my beard softer, I wouldn't know the diff. I wouldn't know a diff notice the difference. So I did notice because my beard is softer when I add a little balm um, during my day my day routine. I don't use any oil in my night routine. I use my oil in the, uh, at night and balm in the morning. So I definitely noticed the difference. Um, so with the bearded existence year challenge. So initially I was going to try to run with not getting any shape ups or anything under my neck. Um, but I don't really know that how that's going to pan out. I shouldn't think that way because I didn't know how it was going to pan out with my line getting higher and it, it definitely got higher. Um, I did try all of no shave November to, I didn't try. I did. I didn't get any shape ups or anything under my neck. I just let it all just grow. Even up here, that's how the beard got a little higher up on the, uh, on the jaws and the cheeks. And, uh, 
but I didn't really notice anything on my neck. It was just like swirly hairs. It just didn't look right at all. With this, at least I can see something was going on. And like I said, I, I, I'm probably um, getting in my own way, but I'm a bit anal about that. If I can't see it, if I can't see it, then I don't really want to deal with it. Um, so what I did, but like I, cause like I said, that this year challenge isn't your typical year challenge where you allow your beard to just grow and grow and grow for a year and not, and kind of keep it unkept. Um, he basically said, whatever you're trying to accomplish, just try to accomplish it in this year. If you want to get your beard longer or whatever, let it grow. If you were worried about the neck line, like I was just let it grow. Um, if you're trying to raise whatever you're trying to get at, just, just, go with that for the year, not necessarily the traditional year challenge. So what I'm going to do is allow my mustache to try and get longer. Um, I don't know what's going to happen. I did go for a while without getting it trimmed and I got it trimmed about two weeks ago. Um, it was getting a little wild in here. So, but I'm just going to let that go. I'm going to let the mustache hang out and see if I can get a massive mustache. Um, something like, I won't say massive, something like bearded existence. He has a dope mustache. Uh, my brother D.O., shout out to D.O., Maryland Originals, what's up, man? Um, my brother D.O., he, he has a, his mustache is awesome. Um, B with the beard, he has a great mustache. Those are the type of mustaches I'm going to try to see if I can accomplish. And if not, then, you know, I'll just leave it probably to wherever it grows to in that year and just, you know, make sure the lip this is definitely the only thing that i'm going to touch is that lip line i need to keep that sharp and and i'll get it shaped up too here and here but no more trims in here and no more trims in the mustache i'm not going to trim any hairs in there you know you can see a little something going on here you know a little something going on i'm gonna let that go and see how that works out um and that's going to be it for my year challenge the bearded existence year challenge and last but not least, I have a few reviews coming. One of them is a very, very, very special review. One of my my other brothers, another bearded villain from Morocco, Happy's Beards, aka Saeed, um, the traveling villain. He sent me a whole bunch of products from his uh, his Asbane grooming men's grooming line. Uh, I'll get more into detail with that and what I received in the shipment and how much I received, what I've done with it, how it worked for me. Uh, I'll talk about that. Um, also, uh, just drew a blank. Artius man, Artius man, Jeff from Artius man just randomly sent me a bottle of, uh, orange grove oil, orange grove balm and orange grove beard wash. I'm going to just tell you now that I loved it all. And, but I'm going to give you a little bit more detail uh, on that. And let's see. Oh, also, um, I forget the name of the company. I think it's Maple Hill, but, uh, Jason, the blessed beardsman, he has an awesome channel. Please check out Jason, the blessed beardsman. He puts a lot of time and a lot of effort and, um, he has some of the best videos that I've seen on YouTube to be quite honest. Um, I won one of his giveaways, my first ever win of a giveaway. I typically don't do the giveaways because I try to keep people who, you know, I'm a YouTuber and I don't like to take away from people who aren't YouTubers getting product because companies send me product. But I said, what the hell? Let me just enter this giveaway. I'm not going to win anyway, but I ended up winning two bars of beard wash, uh, all natural beard wash. And I used those twice and I definitely like those two as well. So I got a couple reviews coming and, uh, that's about it, y'all. You know, like I said, I haven't said anything in a couple of weeks and my this video is running almost 10 minutes long. I didn't want it to run that way because I want to keep you guys' attention. So I'm going to cut this right now. So once again, I appreciate you all watching. I appreciate all my subscribers, old and new. And, uh, you know, I have a good day. Questions, comments, concerns, let me know later.